Hi, welcome to Imperial Yeast's home brewing video series. Let's talk about diacetyl. So diacetyl is an oxidized byproduct of yeast found in all fermentations. Yeast actually produces a precursor compound known as alpha acetolactate during fermentation, which is then oxidized into diacetyl. Vicinal diketones, or VDKs, are a family of compounds of which diacetyl is a part that are responsible for buttery, butterscotch, and honey-like off flavors and aromas in beer, as well as a slick mouthfeel. In healthy fermentations, diacetyl will be absorbed by the yeast and broken down into less aromatic compounds so you don't end up with those buttery aromas or a slick mouthfeel in your finished beer. This generally takes one to three days post-terminal gravity for ales and five to seven days post-terminal for lagers. This time frame is commonly referred to as a diacetyl rest. We recommend performing a VDK force test or what is also known as a diacetyl force test for all fermentations. This test will use heat applied to a sample of finished beer to rapidly force the conversion of that alpha acetolactate compound to diacetyl. To perform this test, we will need two canning jars, glasses, or other containers that have a lid and can be sealed, a heat source, and ideally a water bath, although if not, you can use a microwave. First, we'll pull two separate 100 ml samples of beer from the fermenter into those sealable containers. Next, heat sample one to 150 degrees Fahrenheit and hold it, sealed, for about 15 minutes. At the same time, hold the second sample at room temperature, also making sure to keep it sealed. After 15 minutes, let the heated sample cool to room temperature, again, still keeping it sealed. Finally, perform sensory evaluations on both of your samples, starting with the first sample, your heated sample. Mm. If both are clean, you may proceed to crashing and packaging your finished beer. If the heated sample is diacetyl positive and the other is not, mm. continue with mm. your diacetyl rest and repeat the test again in 24 hours. If both samples are diacetyl positive, your beer is likely too young and needs more time to finish fermentation. So that's the diacetyl force test. Happy brewing.